Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Continuing my Hoi 4 Kaiserai campaign as we, well, make coffee as El Salvador. That seems to be the primary focus of our whole nation here. To make coffee, which nobody apparently is buying. Uh, go away. What is this? Leftovers of the Depression. Yeah, we're still trying to get rid of this. It's not that bad. It's not, honestly, it's not that bad. It's construction speed and the growth at which production grows. That was, yeah, whatever. Uh, that's not that bad. This one doesn't really matter that much. The extra 3% factory output is okay. This one, however, is horrible. Finishing the Salvadorian section of the Pan-American Road. The Pan-American Road, a multinational project between all American nations, has been expanding through El Salvador since Martinez took power. Today, after several years of hard work and investment, the Salvadorian section of the road has finally been inaugurated. The president has made a public speech praising the efforts of the Salvadorian workers and take talking about the benefits the road will bring El Salvador. We got one extra infrastructure. Yay, we're at five. Woo! Hey, it'll speed up construction here. So Huey Long got elected as president in the US. Well, I've seen the PSA form a few times. Because apparently, like, if they go with... Um, somebody told me that if they go with the American Kaiser, then the PSA will form. Like, if the US completely abandons democracy, then the PSA will form and they will, like, fra fraction off here on the West Coast. But if they don't, then the uh, the U.S. is a lot stronger against the CSA and the AUS. So, it's weird. Actually, going for the Kaiser means that the U.S. is weakened heavily. Okay. It is November. So, I'm thinking... Ugh, we do need the guns, don't we? I never want to be behind on guns. It is so important. It's like... I don't know, military tactics in EU4? We never want to be behind on that. Construction of affordable houses for the working class. As the economic situation improves, President Martinez has decreed an ambitious construction program in order to create new and affordable housing for the working class citizens and the peasantry. This program, put in charge of the Junta, whatever this is, aims to provide for cheap housing and affordable Mortgages, mortgages. Ah, forget mortgage. I don't know how the plural of this is pronounced. To the many workers of the country that can afford themselves a private mortgage, while the effort, the effects, while the effects of this will not be immediate, this move is sure to secure the support at least some. What? This move is sure to secure the support at least. Some support within the working class for our president. That seems to be a weird sentence. So we lose some political power, but we gain stability, which is was negative at one point, and our party popularity goes up, meaning we gain a little bit more political power. All right, I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't like losing political power, but whatever. So, um. Did I already increase you? No, no, no. Uh, to 10 wide? No, you're still just 6 wide. At some point, I'm gonna want them to be 10 wide. Or maybe even more. Wait, you're a field marshal? Yeah. Let's see here. I want this guy in charge. And I think it's fine the way you're spread out. You're defending every single province. Except, like, you know, the one with the airport and the one with the capital. Earthquake hits El Salvador. A strong earthquake has hit the small towns of Santa Clara and Ran Esteban, lying nearby the San Vicente volcano. With a scale of 6.1, damn. The earthquake has decimated the small towns, taking the lives of 200 people and causing extensive damage in both towns and the roads connecting them. However, the earthquake doesn't seem to have been caused by the nearby volcano. And so the people of the San Vicente department can breathe a sigh of relief as the volcano is not giving any signal signals of activating anytime soon. So I lose manpower, half my manpower, 
political power and we get infrastructure damage. The infrastructure I just got. This should fix on its own. Minor development. This was what? I don't even remember. Yeah, civilian factory. So we cannot push this one forward at all. It seems. The revolution has not started. I guess we're going for the army. And I wanted to go for a professional army for the organization. And yeah, superior file power. Yeah. I haven't really chosen a doctrine yet. What am I doing? Here it is. But superior firepower is okay. I'm gonna have to get some uh, cannons built then. Um, but this one does not push me in any direction, does it? And this one has the research slot. Yeah, I kind of want that. So I can take this one and then go all the way down to the extra research slots right away. I I'm gonna go for this. And rumors of a coup reach the press. Some anonymous sources have tipped the press about a secret meeting between high-ranking officers within the army in the Centro del... I don't know what that is. While the topics of the meeting have not been revealed, the recent developments have led the press to speculate that these officers have begun planning to overthrow President Martinez. Good! Can I join them? The president has dismissed this the claims as nothing more than fear-mongering by the press, but the fear of a coup remains in public conscience. And stability drops by 15%. God fucking damn it. It was just getting good. It was just getting good. You bastards. I so want him gone. The Martinez... I, I hate that guy. He's an asshole. This dude. Asshole. Asshole. Want you gone. Smallpox, can you fuck off? As our yearly reports come in, we have received an alarming report by our medical institutions that a smallpox outbreak has happened again in El Salvador last year. We're just getting, hearing about this now? While it is smaller than the one in 1936, 35, the smallpox outbreak is still troubling the authorities, as many of those people can't access medical care. Jesus Christ, we're down to 58 dudes. 58 dudes. Oh man. Oh man. I doubled the size of my army. And we're basically down to 60 guys here. You're actually regulars. I'm happy about that. The Venetian Revolt? I don't care. I don't care what's happening around Italy. There we go. Serene Republic of Venice has declared war. Alright, so the uh, Venice Civil War happened. Um, if Italy joins the Austrian faction, then that will be an easy thing for them to conquer. But that's not a guarantee. Yeah, they lose like half of their country. Let's see. We've got one factory and a thousand dudes. Yeah. I'm thinking the Legionnaires are going to win this. Martinez takes action against the smallpox outbreak. President Martinez has ordered today to the authorities throughout the nation to cover all lamps in all public plazas. Following his strictly theosophical views, he claims that covering those lamps will protect the citizens of the nation from the disease. What? And those already affected will eventually be cured from the disease. Are, is he, like, going insane? It's smallpox. You fucking idiot. I thought things were, like, slowly coming around, but he turns out he's just a crackpot. Subsidies for the rural workers. One of the most handicapped due to Black Monday has been the small to medium landowners and their rural workers. While they have kept the same production levels, the fruit of their work just sits in our harbors with no place to go, as there are no longer foreign buyers to acquire them. This has caused our agricultural output of our country to be reduced significantly and many of the peasants in our country to be fired due to the lack of funding to pay their wages. In order to solve this and kickstart our agricultural sector back into motion, President Martinez has decreed the creation of a new set of state subsidies. These will be given to all the farmlands that produce coffee, sugar and cotton 
and will be funded by the Federation. I don't know what that is. With the objective of improving the production of these vital crops back to their pre-Black Monday levels. We lose political power, but we get some stability and popularity again. It's just a complete si uh, like uh, zigzag, up and down, up and down, seesaw. Sorry, it's not a zigzag. It goes up and it goes down. It goes up and it goes down. All right, professional army. Uh, I'm gonna go for this, and just so I can get the research uh, slot as soon as I possibly can. All right, all right. We are in our second year here. We're making progress, I think. Um, we don't need this for a very, very long time, or ever. I'm, we might need the Air Force, but the Navy, definitely not. Um, yeah. A professional army. Division attack up by 10. Do we have any penalties to our army? What is this? Uh, Honduras, which is you, uh, requests their criminals. A group of mutinous Honduran soldiers recently crossed the border, prompting an, uh, an armed clash between us and the poorly trained Honduran soldiers in pursuit. Now Honduras has requested they be re repatriated. No, fuck you off. Why? We're not friends. We'll make use of this for propaganda. Yeah. I hate all of you. I'm going to conquer you at some point. I know I'm small, but at least I think I have a professional army. And you apparently have just militias and just... Oh my god. Your army is weaker than mine. You guys actually have a bit of an army. Oh my god. No, None of my neighbors have an army. None. That is amazing. All right, you've got a, you've got a demilitarized zone. Why is the game lagging like this? Oh, and it looks like the PSA formed. So you guys went with C ah, you went with Douglas MacArthur. So the PSA formed. That is an ugly flag. That is a ugly flag. It's nothing but stars on blue. All right. Okay, so the Philippines peaced out. Are the Philippines just independent now? Uh, you've got truce. Yeah, you're independent. Huh. They might join the Japanese faction then. And New England broke free. There we go. Let's see here. The American Civil War. As the fires of revolution burn in the United States, President Martinez is left stranded in a dangerous position. Now, without the watchful eye of the U.S., many people take to the streets to protest the now lonely di dictator. And the inter internal factions that hid in the shadows are bound to come to the light and face Martinez's dictatorship anytime soon. We have to worry about national security as well, as our external enemies might start looking at El Salvador with malicious intent. Ooh, we get rid of the Monroe, Monroe Doctrine. We can have... Oh, we lose stability, though. Damn it. But recruitable population factor is half of that is going to go away. We go from 50 to 75. So we're negative 11% stability. Fuck. But this should start climbing now. Okay. Civil War has not started yet. So I'm guessing it's going to start in 1937 since it's called the 37 Revolution. It would make sense. So, let's just go for this right away. I don't want to risk losing out on this. Uh, Farah Bundo Marti returns from Mexico. Hero of the 32 massacre, Farah Bundo Marti has recently returned in response to the American Civil War and the chaos our country has entered as a result. People have begun to blame Martinez for this slip-up due to the lack of border control as a result of the ongoing conflict within the country itself. Regardless, his return has finally has begun to rally more and more of the populace against us, and rumors in the military are beginning to spread of an eventual coup in order to restore order. Who is Farabundo Marti? Syndicalists. Uh... Agustin Farabundo Marti. He is the leader of the syndicalist. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. 
I kind of, I'd rather go Syndiclist than stick with Martinez. Martinez is an idiot. So, let's see here. One more day. Thank you. Promote the G C G G B school. Alright. That should give me the extra research slot. It's a weird place for the research slot, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright, we're getting some population here. What do I need for a single battalion? 4,500 for a single, single, like, six wide division. Fucking hell. Alright. I don't know if I'm gonna get there, but we'll have to see. Ooh, we got the Remington. Peru, Bolivian Fed Confederation restored. Ooh. Alright. That's a nice looking hat, sir. And the mustache. You look awesome, dude. So, let's go ahead and do this. Uh-huh. 1937, give me this. We still only have two factories working this. Am I still on toaster economy? No, I was able to get to early mobilization. Uh, Korea broke free. They never survive. Korea always gets crushed. The Second Western Rebellion. After a few days of negotiation, it seems that Marty has managed to convince the remaining native population in the West to rise up against the government. Today, thousands of peasants, mostly from native origins, have risen up against the government. Armed with machetes, the peasants led by Marty have managed to seize control of several small towns and their arsenals in the Sosonet department. As the rebellion spreads to the nearby departments, our country is now thrown into chaos, with shootouts between the police and rebels being common throughout the country. Time for another bloodbath. Infrastructure gets damaged and we lose political power. And there goes the revolution. Always false. The Salvadorian people have withstood the oppression of the military despots and the tyrant Martinez for too long. With the capital back on the hands of the people, the fate of El Salvador looks bright once more, thanks to the cooperation of the Democrats and the Syndicalists. However, the, the debacle over who shall lead El Salvador from now on still remains unanswered. Okay, so these are the Democrats, and this is the Syndicalist. So the Democratic tree is quite... it's a lot bigger. Look at this. It seems there's a shift here. Current ruling party is Social Democrats. Syndicalists. Huh. Why do they have way more things to pick here? Do they get access to another tree or something? Uh, okay, no. Why are the Social Democrats so much stronger? Let's see, what do we get here? Uh, consumer goods factories, research time. Factory output, construction speed. Research slot. Do you have a research slot? Yeah, you do. Alright. So at least both sides get a research slot. Military comes back. Reform the constitution. The honest man. Authoritarian. Social Democrats, Social Liberals. Oh, I get it. I get it. So, this is Syndicalist. This is just Democratic. And this is Social Liberals, Social Democrats, Authoritarians. Okay. Social Liberals, Social Democrats. And then both of you can grab this. Uh, do you guys have a research slot then? Yeah, you do, over here. Okay. Remove national spirit, unruly military. Huh. Well, I don't know. I'm going to go down this path. but Because I hate Martinez. But if I'm going to go down... I have four options there. I thought I only had, like, two. But it's four options. Alright, that's interesting. They made this way more interesting than I thought of this. I mean, El Salvador is tiny. It's a single province. It's like <laughs> an OPM. Moving the army. 
With the rebellion in full swing, President Martinez has rallied the army at San Salvador in order to consolidate his grip on the capital. However, Martinez still has to decide on whether to face the rebellion head-on or try to secure the parts of the country that still haven't been taken over by the rebels. While facing the rebels head-on might seem tempting, our forces are demoralized and disorganized, with the chain of command being shady at best. But if we try to secure the areas not controlled by the rebels, we risk allowing them to consolidate their grip on the occupied area and to be able to entrench themselves. War of Attrition? Huh. Huh. I don't know. Can I, can I save? I don't want to fuck this up. So I'm thinking we send in the army. Send them on head on. Now we could just weaken them. Now, it's called like the Vanguard Stands. Now, we'll just send in the army, see what happens. If not, I'll just reload, because I want Martinez dead. I want him gone. Gone! Ooh, are you guys fighting? Oh, a border skirmish, is it? Yeah, there's a border skirmish. Interesting. The army mutinies. After sending our army to face the rebels head-on, we're met with catastrophic failure. Upon arrival to the occupied area, our forces was met by consecutive guerrilla attacks throughout the region, and those skirmishes culminated in a resounding defeat at the small town of Armenia, that's a country, where several squadrons of our army outright defected, oh shit, where others became completely paralyzed due to the internal strife between officers. The army is now making its way back to San Salvador, where Osman Aguer is Salinas has already sent a message back requesting an immediate meeting with the president. Okay, I lose half of my man. Stop taking my manpower, and we have negative 171. Nicaragua declares war on Honduras. Okay, hey, they're fighting. Let's see. Two, three. Well, three is bigger than two. That's just a fact. The end of Martinez. Yes! Under the command of the general Osman Agueri is Salinas, the army has entered the city of San Salvador and seized the city, breaking into the presidential house before the day was over and throwing Martinez into jail. Salinas has proclaimed himself president, and with the support of the army, he has boldly proclaimed that the rebels in the West would be exterminated. With their moral renewed, morale renewed, the army is preparing to take defensive actions against the rebels' troops Rallying to take to attack in the near future. The F A E L becomes the leader. So we become paternal autocrats? It's not what I want. But it's not over. The rebels are still there. Do I have to reload now or do I wait? I don't know. I'm glad that Martinez is in jail, but I don't want to go into the fascists. Ooh, Spanish Civil War. Uh, the socialist forces led by Agustin de Farabunda Marti have finally dealt with the remaining small garrisons trapped in the western corner of the country and consolidated his grip on the western part of the country. The rebels are now growing in strength with foreign support, and the fate of El Salvador remains uncertain. That's good. Please get rid of these assholes. I want to be... I want to go here. Revolutionary ideals. Oh, what is this? Salvador Castaneda defects. Today we found out that General Castro has abandoned his barracks in Telnik, and we've received reports from our scouts that he has deserted to the rebel forces with a whole regiment. While he had displayed some concern about the rebel forces' strength, his desertion still came as a surprise to the general staff. We lost the general. Our manpower plummets. Oh, it's was my general. Okay. Yeah, let's have Salinas in charge. Uh, we'll do division organization, and then we'll just finish off the army stuff here. And we got our extra research slot. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. I want this government to fall. Arturo 
Arroyo supports the revolution. Ex-president, that guy, who was deposed by the coup led by Martinez in 1932 and the current leader of the Partido Laborista, has expressed his support for the rebels and has urged every Salvadorian who wants to defend democracy in the country to join the rebels in order to fight the tyrants. His influence over the populace can't be underestimated and several patrols had to be dispatched to the border towns in order to ensure that the people would outright join the rebellion. Our situation grows more, grows dire by the day. Social Democrats. Uh, isn't that the yellow one? No, that's liberals. Uh, so, is it this one? Social Democrats, 27. All right. Let's go for construction. Ooh. Did you guys get pocketed? Did you get pocketed? How? You only have two dudes, you idiot. The confrontation. After being beaten back by the rebels, we've managed to rally the army back and our soldiers are ready to take the fight to them as long as Salinas leads the charge. However, many within the army are concerned about Salinas' safety and have asked the popular president to remain in San Salvador while the battle rages on around it. While keeping him in the capital is sure to make a dent in our army's morale, risking Salinas' life might lead him to be injured or killed. And that would be the end of our army. I'm gonna save again. I have no idea. I want him dead. I want him dead. Let's have, just have him stay back and have the army be demoralized. Tibet has capitulated? That should mean they would not uh, puppet them. Yeah. Because I did delete all of those annexation events. By the way. Venice was annexed. So there should be no more puppets unless it's like scripted into something else. The Mozambique Bush War. Menendez's fa failure. In Salinas' stead, Menendez was sent to lead the army to fight off the rebels at San Sonante. While the president remained in relative safety at the presidential house, a very demoralized Salvadorian army faced an entrenched enemy forced force. Feeling betrayed by Salinas, who now seemed no different to the tyrannical Martinez, many soldiers deserted, and the rest were quickly routed by the now strengthened rebel forces. There are reports of Salinas having left the country to protect himself and his family. And now the victory of the revolution seems all but assured. The FPL. I don't see them here. Uh, syndicalists and social democrats. FPL. There we go. Syndicalist. So, revolutionary ideas. Oh, that's amazing. That's a good hat, man. That's a very good hat. Salvadorian Commune. So, current ruling party is syndicalist, the Social Democrats. I don't know how to change that, but I'm just glad that Martinez is gone. Revolutionary Scars. Damn. The Fall of Washington. Wounds of the Revolution is now gone. Now I can do foreign aid. Stability and war support 3 and 10. Okay, so the war support will go away. Stability will still be there, but mostly gone. Then I can do uh, agricultural funding. Yeah, remove national spirit. Okay, let's see here. The military rebels. Despite our victory against the reactionary forces, most of the Salvadorian military still hasn't recognized our rule as legitimate. While their scattered resistance poses no threat to the continu continuity of our government yet, we must tread carefully as they still pose a hindrance to our government, as they can still recruit reactionary volunteers from throughout the country. More importantly, they attack villages and government's convoys for supplies in the northwest, where retreat back to their hideouts in the jungles near Metapan, allowing them an easy escape route towards Honduras or Guatemala if they need to. Unruly military. Okay, so that's the unruly military one. Okay. Yeah, this one here removes the unruly military. What did that one do again? Oh god. Training time. Oh god, that's horrible. Organization minus 50. You motherfuckers! Ah, uh, let's see here. 
the new El Salvador. After dealing with the last pockets of resistance in San Salvador and securing the presidential house, the international political factions of the rebel movement finally organized a meeting of the presidential house at the presidential house. The topic of the meeting focused around the country's political future. While the democratic faction led by Arujo wants to restore the presidency and the democratic system, the syndicalist faction led by Marty wants to sweep the old system away and create a new syndicalist state from scratch. As the night draws near, the people await a public statement to be made about the future of El Salvador. Syndicalist dream. Presidential rest restoration. So... Uh, so for 60 days we get heavily penal, penal just a huge penalty to our army removing censorship political power gain based ability political power research time syndicalist stability political power recruitable population factor weekly stability weekly stability oh 180 days National Democratic, uh, let's see here, stability. I'm not that interested in these modifiers. I want like, I want something, I want a national spirit. I want something, a national spirit that is good. Like this one. Let's see, road to democracy was where? Where do I get that penalty here? Modified road to democracy. Middle class established. Consumer goods factories minus 10. Consumer goods factories 10, but output goes up. Rooting up for the poor. Social liberals. Consumer goods factories minus 10 is really, really good. What do we get here? Unruly military. Do we not fix... Here, we fix the military here, and we fix it over here. But if we go down these two routes, do we not fix the military then? Because that has to be fixed. It has to be fixed. Um, authoritarian Democrats? Ooh. Minus 5% there. Consumer goods factories. Recruit a population. Political power. Research slots. We crush... <laughs> Democratizing the nation. Totalist, syndicalist, radical, socialist all go away. New political dynasty. I mean, we could go authoritarian Democrats. That's what we started out as. Uh, I don't really want to go syndicalist. Yeah, let's go for a presidency. Confronting the military. As the attacks on the Northwest intensify, our people are growing increasingly restless, and the governor of Santa Ana province, Ramon Davila, has requested the government for an intervention of the province with whatever forces they can muster. However, our cabinet is currently undecided on whether confronting the military is a wise idea. Those men have sworn an oath to defend El Salvador, and maybe they'll come around to see things our way if we wait a little longer. Lingering military influence. Now, I think I'll do this. Yeah. So I lose manpower here. Oh no! Political power! Stability, no! Fine. Confront them. It's the only way to secure democracy. I hope this is gonna be fine. I don't wanna lose any more political power, you bastards. You fucking bastards. Establish ties with Nicaragua. I can't afford that, ever. My, my political power is so negative. It's never gonna go in, 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 in the green? No, positive. Okay, Peru, Bolivia has gone to war with Ecuador. Ensure liberties. Political power gain. Stability, yeah. 
modernizing our divisions. I don't think we need this, so I'm fine with that. We don't need this either. We need to fix. We need to get political power right now. But unfortunately, we are out of time. So we have fixed a lot of our issues with the nation, but we still have a lot of problems. Martinez is gone. Hopefully, he's dead. The other douchebag is also gone, and we still we have this guy back. Hey, welcome back. And hopefully, we can fix our nation in the future. Um, beef. <laughs> um, but yeah and maybe we can conquer the whole region at one point but anyway I will see you guys in the next episode but until then see ya and thanks for watching